Hello everybody, my name is Verax and welcome to this let's play of Baldur's Gate 2 solo. This is a solo run of Baldur's Gate 2. I'm doing this LP um, for fun, really, for a bit of an experiment. I've, I've played this game quite a lot, it's one of my favourite games uh, of all time. I play it maybe twice a year and uh, I thought I would do like a solo run because I've never done a solo run with one single character and no NPCs in it before. And I thought I might as well record it, because i got a gap in my LP schedule um, coming up, and so I thought, hey, I'll just stick this on on Sundays. So, this is your new Sunday Let's Play for a little while. Um, if you're not aware, Baldur's Gate 2 is one of the best role-playing games ever made. It's quite old now, um, it's going to be quite hard to go back to for new people, but if you are one of those people who are sort of discovering the game, and have jumped onto YouTube and are looking for a, for a, an LP or a couple of videos to show you about the game and see what it's sort of about. This is not the LP for you because Baldur's Gate is primarily it's it, it's about the characters, uh, the NPCs that you find are a big part of the game when you develop relationships and they banter with each other and uh, can affect the game quite dramatically. And this LP will feature none of that, because what the game is not particularly designed for is for one single character to try and get through it. It's a party-based RPG. Uh, you can have up to six characters in it, and I'm going to have one. So there are numerous LPs out there that you can go to to find out about the, LP, uh, the game and to um, get the gist of it. Um, but this isn't one of them, so I would suggest that you go and find another LP to watch if you're sort of new to the game. I can see this LP not getting that many views purely because it is such a uh, sort of niche market that I'm going for here because um, I'm, I'm kind of expecting that if you're going to watch in this LP then you're in it for the ride with me and you, you'll be doing it for the same sort of reasons that I am you're watching it for the same sort of reasons that I'm playing it um, i.e. just just for the fun and the, the variation the difference and just the interest to see what this sort of does um, like I say, I have played this game quite a lot. I am by, I wouldn't say like I'm an expert, but I know a lot about it. So I'm hoping to use my knowledge of the game to help me get through as a single player. Uh, we'll go through my character in a little bit once we get into the actual uh, Shadows of Arm portion of the game. Just a couple of things before we start though. Uh, I'm playing on core rules, core rules difficulty. Um, I may well implement a no rerolls apart from death. Um, sort of rule on myself but I might not I'm not sure about that one but uh, um, so I'll, I'll, I'll think about that one really uh, I'm playing the game entirely unmodded apart from the widescreen mod to make it fit into the YouTube uh, window a bit better and make the game look a bit nicer uh, so apart from that we, there's a link to that into the in the description there are no um, mods at all uh, I'll probably, uh, these videos are probably going to be like an hour long each, I'll probably decide to do like a particular aim every time I sit down to play this and it should take about an hour or so. Uh, in this video I'm going to go through my character which I've already created, so we're not going to sit through me rolling stats for half an hour, and, um, and escape the first dungeon, hopefully. Although I can kind of see this being a really challenging part of the LP, escaping the first dungeon without anyone. Um, I'm not allowed to have any NPCs in my party at all apart from when the game makes me to i.e. at the very start when Imowen joins your party and I am going to sort of like assume that you guys sort of know the game as well. I welcome comments uh, about how I'm doing, uh, suggestions about what I could be doing differently and uh, thoughts about um, things that happen basically but I will be playing this with a bit of a buffer so I um, might not be heeding your uh, advice at all but it's just nice to get a little, a little conversation and thoughts about this um, as, as we go through the game as a single player um, so without further ado let's oh yeah and uh, um, I'm not gonna be heavily role-playing this either because um, you know I'm not really playing it as a role-playing game um, but I'm not gonna be perfectly skipping through dialogue I'm gonna take my time with it and enjoy the game because I'm sure my love for the game will shine through in this even though it's not a sort of serious inverted commas uh, playthrough and uh, I'm gonna give it the respect that it deserves so without further ado let us start Shadows of Arm
you spent your youth in the library fortress of Candlekeep, under the kind tutelage of your foster father, Gorion. Imoen shared this home, a kindred spirit. Her background was as mysterious as your own. Gorion's murder brought answers to your questions when his killer, Saravok, was revealed to be your brother. You and Saravok were a product of the Time of Troubles, a chaotic period when gods were made flesh and forced to walk the earth. One such deity foresaw his own death and walked the land before the cataclysm. He left a score of mortal offspring intended to be the fuel for his rebirth. The god was Baal, Lord of Murder, and you are one of his children. Saravak sought a war of sacrifice to prove his worth, believing he would become the new Lord of Murder. You killed your brother, sending his taint back to Baal. You were the hero of Baldur's Gate, but some suspected you shared the same lineage as Saravak. You departed soon after, under circumstances much darker than anyone would have believed. They came as you rested, figures cloaked in mist that clouded your thoughts, blurring the lines between consciousness and dreaming. There was no malice or hatred, no mention of an old score, only quick capture and the promise of grim deeds to come. Okay, we shall continue through that. So, here we are, about to start our new adventure as a solo adventurer. Or adventuress, because we are going to be female. So like I said, I have, um, we're going to start a new game. I have started, I have made a new character. She is called, um, Ayana. There she is. So we'll go through it, shall we? Um, this is this is Ayana. Um, I did the double eye thing. I, I like doing the double eye things. So um, yeah, her name is Ayana. Um, so we are playing a fighter mage thief, which I thought would be the most fun. Basically, lots of different abilities that we can use. We can backstab. We can cast spells. We can hold our own in a fight. Um, so we're an elf. Decided to be an elf. I could either be a elf or an elf or a half elf, but no half measures. We're going to be an elf, and that's it. Um, and we're chaotic neutral for a, a couple of reasons. Um, kind of because I get two horror spells uh, as as innate abilities, but mostly because I can uh, have a, um, a familiar, and a familiar for, for, for chaotic neutral is a cat and meow. It's a little cat and meow. Um, so we're gonna we're gonna have a cat familiar. And that's gonna be quite nice. Um, this portrait actually was is is by a guy called a uh, Lewis. Royo, I think that's how you pronounce it. Um, he does a, a lot of um, artwork, which is like it's quite good, very unique, and a lot of it is quite uh, erotic. Uh, and this picture was not it, it is not one of those pictures, so it, it, which is probably why it took me about half an hour to find on the internet <laughs> because it doesn't take you know the others kind of take precedence uh, in people's sort of attentions. Um, but yeah, I thought this was this was sort of a suitable picture. Quite, uh, quite, quite a neutral picture. I quite like it. I quite like it. She looks quite thoughtful. Um, so yeah, that's uh, that's Ayana. Uh, Australia. All right, here's our statistics. We like statistics. So this is the bit that I basically skipped. Uh, you guys watching, even though it really didn't, um, really didn't take that long to roll it. I wasn't too bothered about strength because the the, the girdle of hill giant strength is pretty easy to get early on in the game. So that will just see us through until then. Um, so then I'll boost it with that. Dexterity is 19, because that's maximum for an elf. Uh, Constitution 17, intelligence 18. Uh, wisdom 9, charisma 9. I didn't want to like power play it so much that I have like wisdom and charisma 3. 
Wisdom doesn't matter so much. Uh, I'm sure it alters some minor things. Can also be useful for the spell Wish, uh, which is a really high level spell and is really not something that I need to worry about just yet. And you know, to try and get like 16 in wisdom in that, along with everything else, would be quite difficult. Uh, and the Charisma 9, again, is alright. It's average. Uh, there's the Ring of Human Influence, which you get really on in the game to boost that to, nine, to 18. But I do have to wear that, um, you know, every time I want to use it. But I can keep that in a gem bag and sort of use it whenever I do a big sell. So, yeah, the Charisma 9 for that. Um, so, our Thief skills. I've decided to boost Find Traps and Pick Locks. Because I don't want to be at a trap that I, that I, you know, can't disarm or, or a lock. The Hiding in Shadows and stuff will come later. Indeed, I'll probably boost Hiding Shadows next. Uh, and these are our spells. I'm not going to go through them all, like, <coughs> individually. But we've got stuff that, uh, you know, like, Find Familiar and uh, Friends could also be very, very useful for us. And uh, what else? You know, Spook. Uh, there's, there's, there's a couple here, like, Web, that I don't normally take, but I think it would be very useful for us. And we've also got like invisibility and protection from normal missiles, which I think would be quite good. And uh, yes, we'll just go through our appearance, which it hasn't altered at all. And our voice is this. <laughs> so that's our character, fighter, mage, thief, with those stats, chaotic, neutral. Um, and that will about do. So, Ayana, let us start the game. Oh, but please, um, just let I, I, I did that last time as well. I'm going to start and then say something again. Um, again, this will be a good video to say like what you think the best um, class to go through uh, uh, a single player run of, well, single PC run of Baldur's Gate is. Uh, I've heard Barbarian's pretty good, so, you know, but, but I, I'd be doing the same thing over and over again with the Barbarian, you know, smash, run, smash, run, smash. With a Fighter Mage Thief, I'll be d d quite a diverse sort of playstyle, so hopefully it'll be quite interesting to play and quite interesting to watch as well, rather than me battering everything with sheer force. I have to think my way through certain situations. So, yeah. Now let's start and watch the, well, the second cutscene, I guess, but yeah. We've been locked away by some deviants doing horrible things to us. I wonder who it could be. Ah, the child of Ball has awoken. It is time for more experiments. <laughs> the pain will only be passing. You should survive the process. <laughs> Interesting. You have much untapped power. <laughs> Do you even realize your potential? More intruders have entered the complex, Master. They act sooner than we had anticipated. No matter, they will only prove a slight delay. So, this is M1. Now, a word about the dialogue. I'm not going to read it all. There's quite a lot of dialogue in this game. I'm not the best at reading aloud, so I'm not going to bother, but I, I am going to provide summaries about what's being said, because, you know, I've, I've played this game long enough that I basically know what is being said by, by certain people. Um, so we're going to get through this conversation here. She's going to join our party, and um, we're going to kick her out straight away, because that's against the rules! So we're going to ask her what's going on, and, um, yeah, we were near Baldur's Gate and then got jumped, and, uh, he's been doing things. Doing things? Um, what do you mean? Uh, don't let me think of it. He did the same to you. I heard you screaming. Yes, yes, so he's been sort of torturing us and stuff. I want to know who's behind this. I am the debt of pain. He's going to be like, no, later. Sorry, we've got to get out. She, Emma basically wants to get out the, the hell out of this dungeon, which is fine. Um, she's also gone a little bit strange, as you would, but 
Okay, let's go. And let's basically get rid of her. So this is some equipment um, around here. It's going to save. And uh, now I'm usually used to uh, the uh, Jasper St. Bad, or whatever his name is. Um, the Dungeon Be Gone Bad appearing there to whip me away from this dungeon. But sadly, that's not going to happen. We have to go through this dungeon. But this should be pretty interesting. Because this is quite tough. With four well, characters. That's gratitude for you. You aren't going to abandon me here, are you? We have to stay together. I I feel it. I if we split up, it would be easier to get out of here. That's totally my reasoning. So, yeah. Here we are. Alright, let's go and get some equipment. Now, I feel that a lot of the LP, honestly... Oh, I didn't go through my proficiencies, did I? Let's go and do that. Uh, my proficiencies... I don't think I even gave them one. Either one. A long sword, short sword, and axe. So, my plan is to basically have a shield and a weapon uh, as part of this playthrough. And um, I can backstab with the short sword, and we get like a short sword pretty early on that I can use. So, uh, I'm going to use short swords and an axe. And lo there's plenty of long swords that are like really nice, so we're going to be um, using them. And I know like there's a really nice katana in the game as well, so uh, you know I can I can I can use that. But we're going to be getting lots of um, proficiency points, so I don't think we need to worry too much about that. But for now, axes axes um, you get the really nice uh, stone fire axe that does fire damage, so that can go straight through stone skin. So that's basically why I got that. Plus it's a, a level uh, a plus three weapon, so you know. That's pretty nice. So we're going to grab this axe and the short sword. Uh, and that's pretty much it. I'm going to try and keep this katana as well because it's worth quite a bit of money. Uh, and we're going to grab some armor. Just for now. And which is the short small shield? There we go. I'm going to equip, equip these. Um, we don't actually start the game with any spells. Um, so I'm wondering about whether I should... Um, wait a minute, it's, uh, yeah, I thought it was. It's totally lagging. Only in the inventory screens, though. Not there. Weird. Anyway, I won't worry too much about that. So I'm wondering whether I should wear this armor or not, or whether I should just grab this studded leather and wear that. Because I don't like resting all the time. I just don't. I don't enjoy it. But it is like a third of our character that's lost. So I'm going to try and see how we do. And get in here and get these. Pretty important. But yeah, space is at a premium for us. So, um... Very well. It's going to be a... It's, it's going to be a challenge in terms of... Did I pick up the key? I did. Yeah, in terms of, of, of inventory management, it's going to be quite a challenge. I only have 16 slots. 15, because I'm going to have a familiar. So, yeah. Hide you here. Quickly. We must get out of here before whoever did this returns. I swear, traveling with you is never dull. She basically gives uh, the exposition about why we're here. Well, not why we're here, but sort of what what the last game was about. If we, um, if we ask her why are we here, then she will basically just give a summary of the last, um, the last game. So, husband Khalid, and I travel with you some time, places we've seen. Um, she's quite like vague about it, but um, she basically says that we've traveled together, and um, and you should have her in a party. We're not going to, though. Um, she does have a husband, Khalid. Is he not with you? Don't know where he is. Um, I have the key. She's a bit boisterous, is Jahira. I don't really like her as a character, but um, I'm going to free her anyway. Nature's there we go. Uh, find your own way out. I've created a chance of uh, if we split up. You would disagree. That's fine. You can disagree, but I do not want you. Go away. And Minsk. Ah, Minsk will be free. These bonds will not hold my wrath. Pats will be liberally kicked in good measure. Minsk is not very pleased about being locked up. Uh, his cage is completely she um, completely sealed. I sort of welded shut or whatever. Uh, that's about diet in here. 
his his witch who he was protecting, uh, she seems to have been killed. She was an NPC in the first game, and so yeah, it's not very happy about that. Um, and now we can say we can try and free you, or do what I can, like uh, do what I can, or your being here shows that you're weak. Whichever one of these, you know, I can say that it's difficult, or it's not worth the trouble. Say so it's difficult uh, to release him, and. He'll just get frustrated with whatever we say and actually break it with his own strength. The bars, they bend and twist with my berserker strength. Means can do are free. No, you will not. No. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, you are a smart one. I understand now. You said what you did just to get me mad. Mad enough to break free. Ha <laughs> ha. You are as smart as Boo sometimes. So we can have him in our party. He has he's him and Boo, but we're not going to. I think we should split up. Totally. He'll be like, alright then. <coughs> we'll wait for these two to go and then we will rest. I've decided that we will rest because there's no point penalizing myself even more. Let me go in this room and rest. Get a little shut eye. Go close the door. Okay, fine. It only closes. Doesn't matter anyway. Doesn't matter. Let's see. Let's investigate our spells here and see what we want. We want this, um, and probably some magic missiles, basically. And that's pretty good. Although spook could be good. Yeah, we'll try spook as well. Um, here, let's have that and that. And for level three, haste, fireball. I think we are. We are going to get like a. Um, a wand, a fireball, so I probably won't use this very often, but I don't know whether I have the, the uh, inventory space to keep it, so that's why I collected fireball as a spell. Oh yeah, we're going to rest, won't we? Now, I don't think we can actually be disturbed here at all, but... No, we can't. Right, so I do have my spells, but I'm going to keep my armor on for now. We're going to see if we can come down here. And backstab some people, so I need that. I don't think I can backstab with an axe. Because... Oh, that was quite lucky. Alright, let's save it. I should try and backstab with an axe here and see if it works. Oh, well. That's an inconvenience. Could just turn the thing off. But we do get healed pretty soon, so... Alright, good. Well, let's have this a bit further. A bit bigger. We have the space now. Alright, use your axe to do some more damage. We'll see how quickly we ever, we're able to... Um, not very! And another one's going to spawn around about now. No? Okay, good. Carry on. Obviously not going to bother with an AI package. Alright! What's my Thacko here? It's, um... It's 15. Well, that kind of makes sense. So, you want to hit the method? <laughs> wow, okay. This is gonna, this is, um, gonna take a little while. He's badly injured. We hit him twice and he's badly injured. He doesn't have that many hit points. Might just go ahead and skip this fight. Oh, there's another one. Alright, we'll turn that thing off. None, no more will uh, spawn. And that one's out of, uh, Out of line of sight, so it's not there. did not see us. Go on, you hit it once. Come on. This is this is just silly. This is not a good start. Come on, Ayana, do better. You must do better than this. Forty-five hit points isn't that many. <laughs> okay. Great. Okay, right. Oh. I wonder if I can get out of line of sight and know he's just going to keep following me, is he? And maybe just, um, hiding shadows if I get far- no, okay, fine. We could- we, we, we could have killed him by now. This should be fun. Yep, yeah, here we go. Oh, that's seven damage! Epicness. Oh, and three. Doing no damage to us, anyway, so that's kind of nice. We'll just wait. I'm quite glad I, I skipped this. Uh, yeah. 
<laughs> quite glad I skipped this uh, most of this fight. Uh, there's another three damage. Epic. There we go. And a critical for six. Great. Going here and talk to this dude. So, this is Atar or something. And he's going to ask us a question. The question is we're in one room. Um. Well, you can add part in my capture. So we're in one room, our slibling is in another. There is a button. Uh, if we press it, we we die, or he dies. We'll just have to read it, actually, because I forget. I haven't done this in a little while. Um, Alright. What can you do to assist me? I'll answer some of your questions. Alright. So. Uh, you and your sibling are captured and locked in separate cells, unable to communicate. Major responsible appears and speaks. Uh, he explains the statistic game. In each of the cell is a magic button. If you push the button, your sibling does not, you will die, but your sibling is free. If your sibling presses the button, you do, then they will die. So, if we press the button, then we're being all heroic and stuff. Um... If you both press, then um, both of you will die. Okay, I will. I will press the button. You get to fight a pretty nasty. Um, oh, we got mage here now. I leveled up. Sweet. Do I get to hide? Nope. Let's see if I can get to hide. He is quite slow, so if we just uh, go around here, oh. No. Okay, fine. I'll we'll do it properly. Um, I do have minor drain. Cast that on him. And we can cast. Um, no, not any of them. My ball spawn abilities. Vampire touch. This does quite a lot of damage. I think it'll work. Okay, there's 16 damage. That's quite a lot. I'm trying to ignore the lag, but that seems to be happening quite a lot in my uh, videos lately. He's badly injured. Um, and it's... I haven't changed anything about my recording setup. He's gonna die soon. Oh, well, so are we. <laughs> Have a potion. Quite depressed that actually makes a difference to us, because that only heals half... Uh, nine hit points. Nine. Come on, kill it. Just hit it once. It's near death. Oh, he's near death, I suppose. There we go. Then he will appear and tell us to go and speak to Riev. I wouldn't mind to heal after the Ogre Mage, rather than before. Alright, I'm actually going to pause the recording now and see if I can fix some of this lag, because uh, this is Baldur's Gate, for God's sakes. Uh, so I shall, uh, I shall be right back. Alright, I'm back. I made two changes. The first one was to have reco uh, Fraps record onto a, a different hard drive, not the one the game was on, which should hopefully help. And secondly, I've slightly altered the resolution of the game so that we're a little closer into the action now. Uh, I felt that we were a little bit too far away before, uh, and um, yeah, it might have uh, just detached us from the action a little bit. So, yeah, this is pretty much how you'd view the game uh, in sort of 600 by 800, just if it's not, it's, it's widescreen. Um, and obviously a different resolution, but, you know, it's the same sort of scale, if you like. We leveled up, so let's go ahead and do that. What did we level up in? I didn't even see. Let's go ahead and give ourselves one more longsword. Uh, I think it was just in Fighter, which is fine. Yep, uh, so we're going to level up in Thief and Mage pretty soon. Our character will be leveling quite often, I imagine. Okay, and Thief would be quite nice, actually, because... Uh, oh, I just saved him there, I already did. I think this Hiding in Shadows Malaki will be quite good for us. Um, we need our spells for this next bit. There's a bunch of goblins down here, and I want to take them out with a fireball. I want to sort of... With, my, with regards to resting... Oh, let's do this. But with regards to resting, what I want to do is pretty much 
As far as I can, use most of the options available to me, i.e. exhaust my spells and um, and just make sure that, that, that uh, I'm resting because basically I have to. I don't want to rest after every fight. I know I could do that and it'd make it a lot more easier, but I don't want to do that. I want to keep it a little challenging, but I don't want to be ridiculous and um, want to, you know, sp take the entire day without resting and only rest when this clock says eight, 9 o'clock at night or something. Um, no, let us not do that. I want my Kitimio to be there, so hopefully the game will put him there. We'll see. Actually, if I just... Im I just... because that's his, his sort of permanent place, the game sort of locks him in place, so I want him in the first... Um, slot in my inventory. Let's speak to him. No way, let's not yeah. cast a spell on him. Let's speak to him. Very well. The familiar size is now switching slightly with, curious, with curiosity as it looks up with dark eyes. What is it now, woman? I am hungry. I wish to be petted and fed. Um, let's give him advice. The animal looks at you fairly close to uh, bewildered. Me? I suppose I have th uh, I have thoughts that it would amuse, amuse me to share. See, I'm not very good at reading aloud. But would you even regard them, woman? Looking about in the darkness, familiar turns back with a shrug. I would say let us be off to the surface, woman. Surely the food is more plentiful there. Yes, to the surface we shall go. Yes, let's put you in our pack. Meow. Um. Yes, and of course he can pickpocket as well, which can be quite useful, but I don't think his pickpocket is that good. And there is an item we wouldn't mind pickpocketing later on, but not yet. Let me put you somewhere a bit safer. Familiar's eyes, your pack for a moment, and then reluctantly crawls inside. Very well, it is better that you carry me. But do not bump me uh, around so much this time, however. There he is. There he is. Um, it does say that, I mean, it doesn't even say here that he's got pickpocketing. But he has. He has. Um, yes, it's, it's incomplete, the description. Basically keeping these two weapons for loots. Anyway, now I have some spells. So, you don't have to cast that again. Hopefully we're going to take these guys out. I don't even have... Oh yeah, okay, I do. I did memorize the... Uh... Oh, there we go. Fireball. Well, that worked. Now, sometimes these guys have nice stuff on them. Gems and such. Or oh, just gold. We need all the gold we can get right now. So, yeah. The identify skull would be useful. These archers, these two archers here, won't have anything on them, so I'm not going to bother with them. Oh, I've tried that. I'm really going to miss this backstab until I can do it. Really going to miss it. Because this guy's just going to blind me. Or whatever he does. He's facing that way. Stop! 18. Good. Okay. And now he... Oh, I'm stunned. Ah, that may well be me dead. <laughs> Although he's only doing a little bit of damage, so maybe not. There we go, we're fine. Alright, now kill him. With your axe. With the axe. The axe does a little more damage. Oh, come on. <laughs> yeah, this is going to be the painful part of this Let's Play, where I just stand there doing nothing. That's a pretty hit. He's still alive? Still alive? Yay. By yay, I mean... Yeah. Not brilliant. Not brilliant. Uh, we got a couple of magic missiles to use on this next guy. Did I save? I should save. Save after every single freaking fight. Every single fight we're gonna save. Pretty much. Pretty much. Ow. Run, 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 ow, ow, ow. Alright, what is he? He's badly injured. Alright, now hopefully we can take him out with our axe. Good, he's running away. We're just gonna follow him. Hopefully we'll back into a corner. This is where it would be nice to have a missile weapon, but not gonna use him. Hopefully, like, you know, I'll become so powerful that I'll just, like, throw magic missiles like they don't even mean anything. Or acid arrows or whatever, you know. 
but this is why I sacrificed my hiding shadows initially. So I can pick stuff and unlock them and stuff. That's what I meant. Yep. No, don't want those. That is also loots for us. Oh, we don't even know what that is. It's a quarter staff plus one. Spoiler warning! It's a quarter staff plus one, people! So we have all these little, uh, yes, jars with dead people in them. Fluid in this device churns and bubbles. The tank is empty. And yeah, normally Immo and pipes up here, but uh, not gonna this time. If I can just dart in and out without. Okay, good. Might get a backstab on this guy. You'll have to forgive this in the initial part while I just uh, press stealth over and over again. I do actually have. Uh... No, I was gonna say I've got invisibility, but I didn't memorize it. Because I wanted to take out that group of goblins with a fireball instead. But yeah, it won't take as long to level up because obviously we get all the experience. We have to divide it between three classes, but we do get all the experience. Um, so. Okay, this is getting silly now. It's getting a bit silly. You're hiding from nothing, Ayana. Let's not forget this. You're hiding from nothing. Right, I'm gonna do it. Three more goes and then I'm gonna go in. One. Strike one! Strike two! Strike three! Right, that's it, we're going in. You refuse yeah, to hide in shadows, therefore we shall have to spook him. There he is. Spook him. Spook. That works. Good, 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 good. Spook's a good spell. I don't hear much about it, but I like it. And it's well, it's running away. Although I would, I wish, you know, if it had run away further, it's still going to attack us and make us fall asleep. Damn you! You silly method, you. And now it's fine. But yeah, spooks, uh, spooks a pretty useful spell, you know, especially when combined with grit and malaise on. It's um, usually gets rid of one enemy for a couple of uh, rounds and turns or whatever. Uh, rounds, yes. A turn is 60 seconds and a round is 6 seconds, isn't it? We are unconscious. Wake up. No, oh, I was hoping that you wouldn't do that. So I'm thinking maybe this might be worth it. I'm going to cast this. And uh, put this on. Because we're not going to use any more spells or thiefy things. We're just going to go in there and batter him with an axe. He's, uh, he's what? He's uninjured. Right, now he's not. Now he's injured. Come on! Batter you! It's kind of hard to look at this. It's like, oh, it's, my eyes have gone squiffy. We'll get a magical weapon now. We can actually drop our axe after this. After we lay one more hit. One more hit. One more. Come on. And we might be able to um, backstab with a sword, with a long sword. I was actually thinking about using the short sword of backstabbing quite often, but um, I don't know. Give myself the option anyway. Right, so, uh, yeah, man. What's our armor class? Uh, minus one. Yeah, that's about as good as it can be at this stage in the game. We do have that 19 dexterity, and I realize that extra point dexterity does very little. Um, Oh, okay. There, now he's running away again. Just hit him. But I took it anyway. Could be useful later. Don't know how. There we go. You know, that took a while. Oh, I can still take traps even though I'm wearing this silly armor. But no, I will need to disarm them as well. Because I believe there is a trap in here. Perhaps, or maybe they're just locked. I can't remember because you know this is the part of the game that I ironically know pretty much the least about. Because yeah, I, I keep sticking it, I, 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 sticking it, skipping it. Everybody skips uh, this dungeon. Everybody. Get got a little small shield here, a medium shield even. So we'll get rid of that, and we'll get rid of our axe. It has served as well. It has been excellent. You could say very excellent. Sorry. 
but uh, nevertheless we shall disperse a bit. And these scrolls will actually be quite useful because I think I can cast these scrolls while wearing armor. Um, can I do no, okay. Um, drink that. I'm only drinking that because, like, you know, space is at a premium. We don't want to keep nine point healing potions when we started already getting these. Now, I know what you're thinking. You should rest now. <laughs> I know. Though I've ha I have a plan. I have a plan that's going to be awesome. And it involves, yeah, taking our armor off. I know. I know. And, uh,. Possibly? No, right, so... It would be helpful if we just get the drop on these guys. Alright, give me three more chances! One! <laughs> One! Two! Yeah, I don't think this shield is helping. Three! Okay! So... Probably best if we cast this on this guy. There we go. Move, move. Like I told you, move. Move this way. Okay, there we go. There we go, that killed them all. Sweet, that's a really nice spell. It's kind of hard to use when you um, have a party, because you've got to get your mage up there and move them around and stuff, and I think that usually you're, you, it's not worth it. It does, it does like, you know, like, it takes goblins out and such, but it's not really worth it when you have a party full of fighters and stuff, because you can just send them in, them in, but in this sort of situation, yeah. We found out, we don't know what it is. Um, now would definitely be a time to rest, I think. So let's go and do that. I'm going to kill these, uh, these guys next time. No point talking to him yet. And... Um, yeah, this button here. <laughs> the one thing about Arenicus's dungeon is, oh, hang on, there is something I need to do. Because uh, I did, I did do a like a full reinstall of the game, so it didn't save all my settings. I want, what do I want? Gameplay. I want rest until healed. Thanks. That'd be grand. Look, difficulty. Just so, you, just so you're aware, is on core. That is, that is core difficulty. Um. Look, look, that's easy. There, there. So it's in the middle. Core difficulty. Okay. Good that we uh, that we got that out of the way. If there was any doubts. Oh, and also I'm wearing this, and I can still cast this spell. So that's quite nice. Um. So yeah, we're gonna rest again because I healed like no healing healing things at all. The uh, pit points that is. There we go. That's better. Now we have to rest. We're gonna rest for a long time. This is something that's gonna happen in this LP. Ayana is going to rest for weeks. Weeks she's going to spend just resting. Okay, well, we're going to backstop these guys. Or at least one of them. Probably get horribly killed by the other one. I have hidden myself well. Good. Can you even... Oh, this is something that's quite annoying as well. Okay, that should be alright. Can we backstop with a sword? Please. Oh, you uh, we thought no, and he's hostile. Oh, shut the door. Okay, well at least we can get the range out. In fact, can we possibly get another sneak attack on him? If no, we're not gonna. Right, let's just try and kill him then. Ow! He's gonna kill us. I really, yeah, he's gonna murder us. Take this. Because obviously we only have a little armor on, so this is gonna be our first death. I think. Yep. There we go. Our first death of the Let's Play, and it was to that dude. Now, if I get... I mean, I could always avoid those guys. Um, I could do that reasonably easy, I think. Nothing to it. But... I shouldn't... I shouldn't have to. Shouldn't have to. God damn it. No, I didn't... Okay. Stop failing. I need you to actually do this this time. And why are I fully healed? Heal. Uh, rest. <laughs> there we go. You can rest with them, but you can't hide in shadows. Brilliant. There we go. You wouldn't hurt a lady, would you? Okay, I can. Good. And he's badly injured. Nice. Now, if I run... Now... Stop! 
Oh, I was, I was just trying to get another, um... Ow. Back a stab on him. Ow. These guys might be a little too tough for us. We might be able to tip one of them out. Yeah, okay. And that's 2,000 experience points. So it's building up. It's building up. But I think we'll leave the other one for later. I don't want to have to rest again. I could always cast spells, but it'll probably have to... Oh, God, you've respawned. Same tactic as before, maybe? Please? Good. Good, good, good. Move. Stop standing there and move. Thank you. Okay, good. I was hoping to save that, but, you know, they all respawned. Damn them. Damn them. I wanted to go in there. Well, now I will. How very dare you. Bloody respawn. Hmm. Now we talk to Riev. Uh, Alright, he will give us the gem to activate this golem down here who I haven't even spoken to. Uh, and he will unlock the doors that we can't open yet, which I haven't even approached because I know I can't open them. And he also, but in order to get that I have to kill him because he demands release because he's a thing in a jar. He is a thing in a jar. And uh, he talks about the master, who is Irenicus. Do you know how to escape? And uh, yeah, you need to talk about um, stuff. But basically, let's return to my task. Oh, there, there, okay, that's fine. That just uh, ends it. Who be right, we have to master? ask him about release. Now, where is it? There, um... How long have you been in this state? There. Release! Yes! Master! I, I no longer wish to come back! There, so we take these energy cells away, and, um... I say, I, I'll say I'll take the cells and, and revive the patients, the other the servants, but I won't. I don't think you get any experience for it. Here's the gem that we need to activate that golem. More healing potions is nice. Very nice. Um, quite a lot of healing there, so I'll tell you what, we might give that, get that golem another go here. If I put this on. Failed. Failed, Diana. Come on. Stop failing. In fact, what we'll do is, just thinking about it, we'll just get rid of that short sword as well, because I can backstab with long swords, and for now, the long sword is better. Has a worse um, speed value, I know, but... Better damage. Super. Kill him! Kill him! Nice! Sweet! That's what I'm talking about. That is what I'm talking about. Alright, let's have some more of that. So how should we deal with this next area? Oh, I know. I have an idea. I think I know. What I'm gonna do for this next area. Oh! That's not, that's not what I was in... Oh dear. Um, oh, we got this. Horror them! Good. So that should disable most of them, and then we uh, mop them up. Oh, the rest of them up, pretty much. I might just have customize a script to standard attack and have it off most of the time, but in a time like this, I'll just put it on so she can just mop them up at her leisure rather than me having to click on all of them. And, and once goblins sort of get separated as well, they're, they're less of a threat. If they're in a mob, less fun. Yeah, this is tedious, but I'm not going to, um, waste magic missiles on them. I'm not even going to get an attack on because they keep running away. There we go. Because horror is, a, horror is a nice spell as well, especially sort of at this stage of the game. First third of the game, it's really good. Which is mostly why I picked this alignment, so that I get it for free. There we go. Kill him. Kill him. Kill him. Ah. They will have your 20 experience. 
Come here. But basically what horror has done is separated them all out. So now I can fight them one and one and kill them relatively easily. I say relatively because I've still got hit. Let's see if I can just... Okay, I've got a backstab on one of them, hopefully, if I find him pretty soon. There's a scroll there. Hello. <laughs> no, 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 no. Thank you. Turn AI off now. Hidden yourself well. Well, so have the goblins. They've gone. They have scar, but there's another one. Nice. Just slay them. And yeah, that does. Uh, 20, 20 experience points makes all the difference, man. Makes all the difference in the world. No, actually, it really doesn't. Because that's like, what, 7 per uh, class? That's not going to make a lot of difference, but it all helps. So, back to the original um, point I was making, because I thought this was going to be the next um, little fight that we had. And I did have a plan, but I forgot what it was. It could have been to do fireball. Yes, I think it was. This is my plan. Just ask, of course. I, did, I went in a little bit too far. Should be okay, though. Incoming. And now I'm going to come out again. I'm going to shut the door. I'm going to put my armor on. I'm not in combat, damn it. Not in combat. I can, there's a method, you see. There's a method in there, and I want to take him out. At least with armor on, because it can be quite difficult. Quite awkward. Where are you? You're down here. There you are. Should have hidden. Oh well, mana. It'll be fine. We'll just kill him easy. Kill him easy, Ayana. Easy, Ayana. Splat. There we go. All right, five damage isn't much. Six is better. Just do that again. Two isn't brilliant. Five. Eh, well, you know. Yeah. We're getting there. And he hasn't hit us yet. She's. Oh, I knew I shouldn't have said that. Near death. Now, once we uh, sort of get rid of this guy, I'll look at our inventory and see that we're getting quite full here. Probably drop this. Um, I don't know what else. A little bit of gold. A little bit of gold. Uh, any scrolls that I don't want? And there's a couple in these um, shells. Oh, hello. What's that you're doing there? Don't like that. Hide! Can't. I am blinded or something. There you go. Well, now we're fine. <laughs> because they can't open doors. So we'll just wait for... Is that glitter dust or something? Glass dust. What is that doing? Yeah, I think it's upping our faco. No, it isn't. So what is it doing? Don't know. But I don't like it. If that's what you want. Go away, glass dust. Do not want your debuff on me. Might as well use this. I do have that as well, drop on Holy Might. There we go. Right, let's save it. Saving a lot. Just save me re um you know, reloading and doing stuff over and over again. Cause I mean, it's not gonna be brilliant to watch as well as do, so you know. I'm just gonna hopefully not replay stuff too much unless you know if I get if I get through something and then save it and that's fair enough I don't think anyone's going to uh, complain about ex excessive saving when uh, it prevents me from doing stuff like this over and over again I guess I get killed in the next fight and forgot to save after this one Oh, I can't wait till we're doing like 20 damage or hit and stuff. Will that ever happen? I hope so. Get a bit more strength on my character and stuff. That's quite nice. All right, let's have a look. There's some nice stuff in these shells. There's an uh, oil of speed and some healing potions. There's the oil of speed. And that can be quite nice in the next fight, which I think is pretty much the hardest fight in this area. 
at least on this floor. Although there is the Cambian as well. Whatever it is. I don't think it might be Cambian. Although I think, no, actually, a Cambian's really tough, isn't it? I think there was a, was a Cambian, on, Cambian on this level. Uh, we would die horribly. But yeah, there's no alignment spell. I'm going to try and learn that. And this minor drain. See if we can write them. We can, yay! Yay! Uh, dispel magic. I'm actually going to try and learn that as well. Run a roll. And. Well, yeah, we got a lot of stuff here. I'm going to, um. Drink these. And of course, we leveled. Didn't even notice that. We leveled. So, hooray. Let's do that. So. <coughs> going for. Actually, we'll put five more in open locks just to finish those off. Because 105, I think, is the prime number. Even though it's not a prime number. Well, it might be. I don't know. But that's, you know what I mean. And hiding your shadows. And we should also get some spells. Okay, we got another level 3 spell. So let's try. Not haste. We've already got this uh, model of speed. Let's try that. Actually, no, let's have another fireball. Because they've been really useful so far. I think. Although that could also be useful in the next fight. If we're going to rest, but I don't think we are. We're gonna try and we're gonna try and do this after I have these uh Whatever you silly say. little Okay, good. Um healing potions I'm just gonna use up to save the inventory space basically. Yeah, and then we're gonna go around here and face Yulich or whatever his name is. Not very good at pronouncing names. Oh. We're kind of done, aren't we? So let's buff up and um, should we try a magey way of doing this? I think we will. I might use this potion of speed here. Okay, we'll get rid of that. So, we'll save it and um, you know what I could do is just go back down here and get the uh, Helm of Beldran which could help quite a lot. But no, I'm here now so we're doing this. So, we'll drink that. Cast this. And this. And we'll see what... Okay, so dexterity 21, so I think that's reduced our armor class by another one, and given us a couple more hit points, not many, and our strength... Well, we get an extra minus plus one damage or something for strength 16, so... That's okay. Yeah. Plus one damage. Um... And we'll save that, and I reckon we'll go and uh, kick some ass, or not, as the case may be. So, well, I think I'm going to do this horror. Yeah, and if I do the horror, then I won't have to do that, will I? And I also have this to cast. Nothing so yes, to okay, we're going to do this. Mid-timber. So he's going to demand what we're doing here. No matter what we say to him, he will attack us. So let us attack him. Okay, get them all in range. Thank you. That's it. Oh, oh good. Marvellous. Um, the mage. Okay, the one that's attacking us, that's fine. Should be able to deal with him, okay. Again, they've all spread out, so that's kind of handy for when they, um... Might save this for the, uh, the demon dude. Let's go down here. I know there's a trap. But I think it's on that side. Yeah, so we can avoid him. The mage went in here. I want... Oh, I wasn't the mage. Oh, well, we'll kill him anyway. And you are what? You are uh, a Cambian. Yeah, it is a Cambian. We'll deal with him later, possibly. Come on. Yeah, like a sling or anything would be quite good here. Mirror images run out. Get, get ahead of him. Get ahead of him. Don't go on the trap. Do not go on the trap. There we go. Mage. I'm quite glad that I cornered him, so he should be quite easy to take down. And he is. Alright, you come to me. 
trying to lure him over that trap then, but it doesn't work, does it? This is the main guy. Should technically be the toughest person in here. Get some nice armor off him. And some of these... Um, acorns. Now, I'm not sure about keeping the acorns, because that is another slot. And it's just a bit of experience that we get. And I don't really think we're going to be like we're wanting for experience. This weighs a little less as well, so I can take that. Um, yeah. Oh god, because that trap will. Could use some attention. I was going to say that trap will kill us. Why didn't we go off last time then? <laughs> it's weird. Well, we're hasted. Oh. Ow. I know you're almost dead, Diana, but you're fine. Everything's cool. Everything is dandy. Alright, let's not wear this, though. I'm not in combat. He's dead. I suppose his... His, um, animation have been... His guts splattered everywhere. hasn't finished yet, so technically I'm still in combat. A broken weapon? Oh, boy. That's not something we have to worry about, because we already have a uh, magical one, but I wasn't aware that was sort of in this game. I know it's in the first one. What was I going to do? Oh, yeah, this. And... Yeah, okay. It was still, still going to be a bit of an issue. I'm pretty sure we haven't killed them all. There's another one. We'll get a backstab on him. Oh, love it. Love it. This is why I really enjoy Fighter Thieves. That's why I played one in my other LP of it. Uh, of this game. Fighter Thieves are, are pretty nice. They're pretty powerful, as we can see here. <laughs> Some stuff here, but I don't think we need any, any of it. Um, might be a scroll of grease around. There's a nicer helmet, as in it's got horns in it. And some healing potions? No, I don't want those throwing axes, thank you very much. They are not to my tastes. We're already stocking up on healing potions, but... You know, that may well, um... Change. Uh, now I'm gonna identify one of these. I reckon a scroll of fire protection, which... I just kind of hoped that it was. I mean, it does got flames on it. It's either a scroll of fire protection or it's uh, cursed. Um, but yeah, that might help in the place with all the methods up here. Don't worry, I will be resting soon. But first, we have a date with a Cambion. I'm going to just have this. What's our plan here, then? Spells, I think. Run, a run, a run away in spells. Great, okay, that one. Uh, now? Why are you no cast? Alright, fine, that doesn't help. That was a waste of a scroll. Thanks, Ayana. And I have less spells than I expected, and I can't even find him. Where are you? There you are. Good, 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 good. Oh yeah, I'm still having my... Let's, do, let's just get rid of this now. Get rid of this now. Don't need that anymore, ever again, basically. And now I'm out with spells, aren't I? And he is he's injured, but we're also uh, what is commonly known as screwed. I am out of options. Yes, I am out of options, I don't believe. Um, I have anywhere to go apart from downhill now. Unless I could run a... Yeah. So I could run away. And maybe end combat. That would be great. Let's just see if we can do this. There we go, right. And then I can put my armor on. I'm not I'm not gonna I am not gonna rest. And I'm gonna go back in there and kick his ass. I can hear him walking up here. There he is. Just ran away and put my armor on and came back. No, we do not want any critical misses. We want the other one. Okay, five. Five damage. 
Eleven? That's much better. Now we should be near death. Badly. Okay. This was that other attempt at hitting him. It was so rubbish. So futile. Come, Mr. Cambion. You shall be slain by Ayana. Ow. Oh, come on. Come on. Wow, well, this, this uh, haste potion lasts for ages. There we go. 6,000 experience points and a magical weapon. A magical weapon. Yay. Okay, I'm going to rest now. Because I have precisely one spell left. Which I could have cast on him, to be fair. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to walk down here. Because we know, our character knows, role-playing it a little bit, we can rest in here and everything will be fine, because we did that before. But we are going to set that... Uh, no, we'll do it after we rest. Set the, uh, the, the golem to do his duties. I'm already thinking ahead to like all the neat loot I'll get and oh god. The reason I'm running away is hopefully. Oh yeah, of course I won't be able to hide. Um Alright, I'll cast these at him. Need a bit of help. Attack him for a bit. Should be able to hit this guy. And then do that. That's pretty nice. I mean, it's a pretty decent spell, like, in this sort of situation. I mean, I know that eventually it will become extremely obsolete. But for now, how much gold have we got? About a grand? Uh, where's it say? Oh, okay. Three, uh, 500. Half a grand. Oh, well, I can't quibble. Half a grand is half a grand, and, uh... You know, it's alright, I suppose. Actually, this wasn't where I was going to rest. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. We'll rest here. Now I don't have that stupid fine familiar spell anymore. So that familiar should have given us about 12 hit points. I think that's about right. Gives you half its hit points. Need a name for my, um... Katemio. I'll think about it. So we give this guy the stone. We pretend to be his master. Um. Oh. I am your so say I am your master and open the um. Open the doors to the guardian. Oh boy, the guardian. I'd forgotten about the guardian. The guardian's going to be a pain. I'm not even going to try and pronounce the Guardian's name. Oh, there's some goblins up here as well before we do that. We've also lost an item, so we get an extra inventory space, which is nice. <laughs> but they can only get to us one at a time, I think. So that's going to help us a lot. And now is the Guardian. Not not enthused <laughs> by this. It's going to be a magical uh, mystery ride. Hello, it's an all you. <laughs> That's what it is. Well, hopefully, it can't reach us up here. Okay, good. So we can just batter it with magic, and hopefully, that will kill it. It's not injured. Badly injured. No, it's not the best spell for this, but it'll hurt it. Near death. It should take another lot of damage. There we go. Alright, sweet. Now the wands. The wands. Wand of Frost Key. I'm going to take some of these. I imagine Frost could be pretty useful. Um, some of them not so much though, but yeah, I'm going to get these uh, wands and um, I'm going to use them pretty, um, oops, pretty quickly I think, because they'll only like um, clutter up my inventory otherwise, but that's not until the next level, let's not get ahead of ourselves. 
Hmm. Yeah, vocalize. We won't need the vocalize spell because of a certain amulet. Hmm. There we go. Here we go. So, what do we want to get rid of? Uh, well, we can use... Oh, I know what that is now. Oh, there's two of them. Damn it! Uh, well, we can, we can learn this. Good, that's another bit of experience. I need my two sets of armor. I don't need that. I'm going to throw that away. And put that there. So there we go. I now you have three spare slots. I, I'm kind of... want to get rid of these small portions of, of healing, but not waste them. And also, if we wear some armor, that also gives us another inventory slot. Good. Can't you go around him? Is that... Okay, fine, just kill him. The arch is a pain. There is a shield that I want. Um, I'm not going to tell you what it is, but it's going to it's going to be really nice for this LP. There, there are two, sh two, two shields in particular that, that I'm thinking of that are going to be insanely useful. One more sold than the other, but um, so I'm going to play around with them because one of them I don't normally get. Oops. Oh yeah, and this just leads back in here and uh, I'm not going to kill the method that's in there, at least not yet. We have bigger fish to fry, but for now, you get some nice stuff. Nice stuff in here. Oh yes, something is not right. I wonder what 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 could not be right about this place. What could not be right about this place? <sighs> what could not be right about this place? Hmm. Hmm. Hello? Game? I don't like this. <laughs> the reason it doesn't feel right is because there's bloody traps everywhere. But Ayana, with her fine traps of 105, can't seem to locate any of them. Game. Oh, thanks. God. Yeah, thanks for that. Thanks. That's that's. Oh no, wrong, wrong one. That's brilliant. All right. So minor damage, minor damage. But yeah, yeah, you found them eventually. I'll give you that. But slightly too late. The game totally trolled me there. I'm almost upset. This is a nice amulet that we want. It is the amulet of Metaspell influence. I think. Possibly a rule that I can make for myself is I'm not allowed to wear any um, equipment that's not identified. I could always make that a rule. Again, I'm not quite sure how wise that is. That's the thing we need to get into the place up there that I ignored about. I don't need to explain these things to you guys. I'm assuming that you guys know what you're doing here. There is one of the best um, helms in the game. The Helm of Balduran. I'm class plus one, hit points plus five, sin plus plus one, thaco plus one. Everything there is useless. Everything is good. Uh, so yeah, thaco is 11. It started off as 15, so already we have a marked improvement in our character. I have hidden myself well. Not a me in finding the right bloody key. It's because of this um, mod. Wand of Lightning Key. Yes! Yes. We wander down here and we find some nymphs. Protect me. Uh, right. They are going to want a flask from a genie in order to uh, be free, I think. Who are you and what's going on? Where's his possessions, his servants, his concubines help us to escape. Um, what can I do to help you? Fairy queen. Um... Oh, there we go. Um, Irenicus, name for our captor. Our captor? My captor. My captor. I'll be happy to help you. 
All right, he mentions. Oh no! Wait, 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 wait! I got that the wrong way around. He, they want us to get the um, the acorns and give them to the fairy queens so that these guys can escape here and go into the Windspear Hills. They, uh, but the yeah, then the genie wants us to come back here and get the flask from these guys so he can escape or something. But yes. I already have the acorns you are talking about, so they want us to take them to um, Windspear Hills. <coughs> Excuse me, and, uh, and and give them to the fairy queen. Then they'll be okay. Now, I'm not sure about that because it's an inventory slot, and I need it. As you can see, I've already run out of inventory space, and we need to pick up some more stuff here. So, yeah, inventory space is not good. Isn't it? Oh yeah, but that's okay. The alarm's gone off. Those, um, ah, thank you. Those are uh, those golems that we killed earlier will not be coming to get us because we killed them earlier. Meta gaming for the win. Yes, lovely, 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 lovely. This is the sort of scenario that I was uh, wanting to avoid. Is um, sort of when you have to get into this chest to get something out, but. I have to set off the trap to do it because I can't disarm it, you know? That would have been pretty horrible. Okay, let's drop some stuff here. Just temporarily. Um. Because there's some spells here, but I can just learn them and then free up the inventory space. And there is a potion of master thievery, which I do. Actually, I don't need the potion of master thievery, even though it would be kind of nice um, at one point. That's what we need. Um, so let's have a look. Pommel jewel of the equalizer. I kind of want to use that. That just gives us some extra AC when we're not uh, using our armor. Oh wait, learn this, learn this, oh, learn that, I already have it, I can, no, oh, I can't wear that, um, but yeah, this gives us an extra level 2 spell, which I shall memorize now, let's see, alright, let's get rid of these, these gems, because they're like, they're gems, you know, I don't think I need this pommel jewel either, but it is worth quite a bit. 125, I think. So I want to keep that. I was going to do something. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. We got an extra level 2 spell, which I think we shall make web. No, web's not so good. Web's not that useful. We can have that. Let's see what we're going to face. I think that. I think another one of them. So now we have to go all the way over here to this locked portal. We shall unlock that with this. This is all kind of extra stuff now that we don't strictly need to do because I do have the portal gem to get uh, into the next area. But I'm going to do it because it's experience and it should be fun. It should be fun trying to figure out like how to get past all these bloody methods, which is... Um, one of the main problems, well, not a main problem, but it is is—it is something of a challenge when you have a whole party if you just charge in there. So, I might be able to uh, learn a few things here about the whole uh, soloing thing. So far, so far, mind, it's been going okay. I've had one death. Um, might actually to keep track of it. It might be difficult between the weeks that I'm going to record this in, but so far, one death. You guys can keep track if you want. We should have lost an item there. We did. Didn't tell us anyway, but we did. So here, let's go to the plane of air. But yeah, so far so good. So far so good. I think our best bet. Initially. I have had nothing to it. Already we're doing pretty good with this hiding in shadows thing. These guys can be pretty nasty. Can I get around to backstab? Good. 
27 damage and near death. They gotta do some nasty stuff to us now, like blind us. That increased our Thacko to quite a lot, 21. So we might, I was gonna say, I might be better off using spells now, but we really have any. Use this one. If we can. Okay, one damage and uh, save versus spell, so. Thing. But anyway, yeah, that hurt. That, that didn't really do a whole lot. Kind of disappointed with that chromatic orb there. It's a good spell. It's a good spell. I like it. The magic missile's a little more um, reliable. Which is kind of what I need right now. I don't think this is going to be too bad because, you know, I'll just fireball them to death. It's not really um, a tactic that I want to overuse, though, so I might just do the scorcher thing and give them a. Give him a fight, you know, fighting chance of killing me. Why I would want to do that, I don't know. I don't know, it's kind of silly, I know. Although, one thing we can do, actually. Oh, I didn't know you there. God, I don't want you to run away, but. Uh, oh, there's two of you as well? What? There's more, there's more methods than normal. I think. So let's just have these. So I need, I need to, you know, through the inventory stuff. We're going to be hearing the word inventory quite a lot. And lack of space, sort of going with it. Luckily that doesn't last for very long. Come along. So yeah, we'll just wait <laughs> for this smoke method to die, and I'll have that. Thank you. So now I can equip this and burning hand. I'm not going to use burning hands on the smoke method because it may well have some resistance to fire. Oh yeah, I did say I was going to use this fire, protection from fire score. I think I will. Otherwise I'm carrying it for no reason and although the method sort of cages also use that quite a lot as well. And I'll use it now. Come on, Ayana. Get on with it. Something so lazy. Because one, one of the things I want to get out of the habit of doing when I play as a fight is saving stuff. I'm going to use, you know, there's, there's an element of that that you've got to have. You can't just throw everything in every fight. But I don't want to continuously save potions and such and never use them ever. For the next fight, for the next fight, and just, you know, I'll save it for that, I'll save it for that, and always thinking one step ahead. Less, less of that. What I was thinking about doing was actually casting this spell right now. It's not one that I'm going to um, be using in combat very much, but it's a level 6. I do get 6,000 experience for that if I um, if I learn it. I do have intelligence 18, so I've got a good chance uh, I'll ever have without a potion. But could cast it now. However, uh, I do have to fight for control for it. Um, and sometimes... Let's have a look here. Alright. Let's construct on the creature for three rounds in order to ensure that the elemental will not turn him. There's a 15% chance of losing control. So there's a 15% chance of losing control of this thing. I'm going to try and learn it. I learned it! I got 6 hours experience! We've almost leveled up again. Uh, in fact, we we just did. We just leveled up again because of that. That's kind of nice. I like these levels. So, in Thief and Mage and Fighter soon. So let's have a look. Well, Thief... Oh no, wait, it can't have been Thief. Must have been, must have read that wrong. Um, so level 2 and level 4 spells. So it was just Mage. Oh yeah, sorry. Thief is another... 900 away, but, uh, sorry, 9,000, but fighter's almost there, and we got a bunch of level, uh, yeah, level 2, and level 4, I don't have any level 4 spells, kind of a pain, level 2, 
Go for that, maybe? You'll notice the lack of Melf's Acid Arrow here, but I thought that maybe this kind of thing would be more useful. Just for, like, getting away. Um, I think I'll go for this, though. I quite like this, um, what's it called? An Anazar's Scorcher. It's pretty neat. It's pretty neat. But to the matter, oh, well, I can't really cast it because I've, I, I, what, what spells can I cast? Just that. No, not that. Mm. I got some fireballs and a spook. Well, all right then. That's fine. What's my armor class? My, it's only an extra one armor class. I'm gonna get rid of that stuff now. Okay. Mind you, that extra one could help, but uh, let's use this because there are a bunch of methods up here who are pretty nasty and do a lot of fire damage. And then we will fireball them. Let's just wait for six seconds to pass. Okay, that should about... that's good. Actually, before we do that... Do that. Should be about right. Yay! Immune, immune, immune. But missed that... Missed, missed, the missed one took damage. Run away. No? Not gonna come after me? Okay. I'll, uh, oh god. Probably won't get this one off. No. Ah. And now we're blinded. Yeah, we're gonna die. I'm gonna take this. No, oh, ow. Yeah, now we're stunned. And blinded. This is a pretty nasty fight. I think I'm gonna need, uh, I was gonna say summons, but... Possibly to run away. Alright, we'll go here and then only two of us can get us, two of them can get us at once. Maybe three. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna try for the no reloading unless I die. Means I'm gonna use all my healing potions fighting these things. That was a waste, wasn't it? I'm gonna die. <coughs> I think I need to rest. Yeah, I didn't actually do any damage there because I cast it at the fire one. Oh god. Slowly whittling away my health. I got one more trick up my sleeve. Oof! Right. Probably would be better off dying, to be honest with you, but now we're gonna press on. Okay, let's let's do that one as well. So you used all my... I, I can um, spook them. They're already running away, of course, but... Oh yeah, and I've got this. And since I'm not going to use... Are my classes been in combat? No, strangely. Um, yeah. Alright, let's kill him. Let's kill him. Kill him. Yeah. The problem is killing them. <laughs> Catching them is the issue here, because they'll all just come, you know, all regain morale at the same moment and um, and and kill me. Get one of them at least. She's getting attacks off. She's just not hitting with them. Irritating. There we go. Now I'm screwed. Now we'll just get in the same position as we were before, now I have no healing, no spells, and no buffs. Though I am healed. I am sort of, yeah, um, hasted. Hasted. I should really, I don't know which one's um, blinding me or killing me. Oh well, we'll try and get this smoke method done anyway. Right. Um, air, steam, fire. Get the air one. I think the air one's the one that's stunning me. Maybe. I 
Ow, ow, ow. Although one and two damage each time, three damage. It's only a D3 damage they do, isn't it? So. Yeah, I didn't have any spells left. Yeah, that's kind of an instant cast, which is pretty nice. Yeah, I can always do this. That'll still work. Yeah. Is it kind of ironic that a smoke method gives you 420 experience? Just... Is that a little Easter egg? I don't know. I, I doubt it. I think I've just played this game a little bit too much. Well, we made it. I'm tempted to say sadly, because um, we're kind of very weakened now. We'll see this through, though. Probably be better off dying. Than, I mean, what did I use, though? I used... Um, you a couple of scrolls and a bunch of healing. Is that so bad? Probably. Alright, so... Um, this is a genie in a bottle. He will want to be freed. We have to go and get the uh, flask from the dryads. And in return, to free him, and in return he will give us something that belongs to us. So we shall agree to that. We shall go and... Uh, where can I find this task? Perhaps the Dryads have it. They do. And luckily we're already hasted, because this is a, a bit of a fetch quest. Well, it, is a, it is a fetch quest. This is like the epitome of a fetch quest, because you've got to go all the way through the dungeon twice. So it's kind of annoying. I mean, it's kind of annoying. But luckily Tell through the, the marvellous pathfinding of the game, we'll see Ayana just... just really just zoom through this no problem at all and after we've done this we all rest oh yes we will we shall rest because we have uh, spook left so yeah I suppose spooks like it's it's um oh yeah we're gonna ask for the dryads flask uh, spook is sort of oh, eclipsed by magic missile and chromatic orb and it becomes less useful the further into the game you get. The higher level you are. But then it's a level 1 spell, so... At level 1, you know, spells like Spook and Sleep are pretty useful. Yeah, actually, to be fair, I forgot about Sleep until, like, that moment that I just mentioned it. These spells that, you know... Nice. Level 6 and below are insanely useful, and then they start to sort of peter out a bit. But yeah, Sleep is might be something that I want to, um... Work on. It's better than... Yeah horror in the fact that they fall asleep on the spot and you can just hack them to bits while they lie there, rather than having them run away. Because uh, having having them run away is great if you've got an archer to um, pick them off, but I don't have that. Okay, so we uh, made the exchange. We have a sword. This is Cerevok's sword. And um, it's a 2 plus you know, thingy. 2 plus 200 weapon. Uh, plus 2 to any weapon that heals you when you hit people a little bit. Useless for us, though. We are going to level up, though. We level up in Fighter. Good. We level up in Fighter. So our saving throw is increased, and we got two more hit points. I'm not going to reload for, like, level ups to see how many hit points I gain, even though more would, of course, be nice. We're going to play this as properly as we can, you know. We're sort of... We, I'm, I'm trying to emulate playing this as if I'm playing it with a human DM. So, uh, I can't go back and redo bits that I've survived and what such. Happened? It's like, yeah, we got through it. Okay, good. It's not like, actually, can we start again with that fight? I.e. reload before it. I'm going to try not to do that. It's basically the theory behind this. So, I think we're about done now. I'm going to save it. Done with this area anyway. I got another. Got a whole different bloody. Um, is the goblins here? Yes, yeah, there's goblins here. Kill them. Um, AI on. Oh, kill that one. It's not horrid. Now, what's the same? Yeah, we've got another level to do. 
There's some crates here as well. I must forget to do them because I think one of them has a spelling it. Could be armor, maybe? Okay, we're getting these. Another one up here. Oh, haste run out. Those haste potions, damn useful. I actually took the spell, but I wasn't thinking about the potions at that time, and, um... Well, the potions do take up inventory space, that's the thing. And I won't be getting a potion bag. Um... Who sells a potion bag? You, know, you get them in front of Baal, don't you? They might have to look that one up. I know scroll cases are fine. Maybe uh, Watchers Keep might have one. The guy at Watchers Keep. Or the shop at Watchers Keep. Stop running away. There's a door. Right, there we go. Stand and fight me so I can splat you all over the place. And he's one of them molesting the dryads. Did you see a goblin come down here? Probably not. Um, we did leave a bunch of stuff in here. We do have some inventor space left, so let's see if we can pick any of this up now. There was some gems and such, wasn't there? I don't think it's going to be that useful. Just check it. Yeah, just some gems. Not going to bother. The extra bit of gold will be meaningless. It's quite nice only having the one character as well, because I can sell pretty much everything that won't be won't apply to them. Or to her. So, um, like armor, just sell it. Most of it, anyway. I think I'll keep, like, I'm keeping one set of armor at all times. Probably, unless it gets to the stage where I'm, yeah, there's armor. Which I, uh, you know, just get so low in um, armor class as a mage with a shield that I don't need to anymore. That would be quite nice. Okay. Ah, scroll. I'd rather have the experience at this point. So we're almost... we're getting there with Thief next. More hiding shadows. It's gonna be nice. So let's go to the... in fact what I think I'll do is I'll um... I'll stop this video here and this recording here. I'll do the second um... second Arenicus dungeon level another day because I think I've been going on for a little bit over an hour now. So I think that'll do for one session. Um, just shows how long it can take this dungeon. I mean, I know it takes a little bit longer because there's one character and I've been sort of swinging there with an axe and a method for, you know, ten minutes at the start. But we're getting there now. Um, so next week we'll do Irenicus Dungeon Part 2 and probably, if, depending on how well it does, like, we'll do some shopping or selling and the circus tent as well. And, um, but so far so good, I think. And I hope you guys are enjoying watching me do this. Um, and, uh, yeah, hopefully see you next week for some more Let's Play Baldur's Gate Solo. Toodaloo.